Welcome back, everyone, to uh, another Daikon dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke 9 and, and, and 8. Yeah, sorry. And Deathstroke 8. All right, today we're going to be reacting to Marshall Tucker Band. Can't you see? All right, and this is a live recording that we're going to be reacting to. Welcome back, everybody. So, I've been on your channel now for about three or four times. Yes. And uh, we have listened to quite a few Dad and Son songs. We have not listened to any jam tracks, really. Yeah. So, a little backstory on why we picked this one. This is a dad request. <laughs> yes. So, me and my wife today, we went out to the craft store. And on the way home, there was an older gentleman who had his windows down, and I had my windows down. And he was rocking out to this song. That's awesome. And I'm like, what song is this? So I Googled it real quick based on a few lyrics, and it popped up Marshall Tucker, um, Can't You See? So I listened to the song, and then as I was scrolling through, I saw that there was a live version. Yeah. So the song is really good, um, and I've heard it a few times, but I've never heard this live version. And uh, throughout the course of Daniel's channel, I've been on, and I've been a dad figure. Sure. I've never sat here with you just and just jammed out with music. All right, let's do which, it. Which, realistically, YouTube, Daniel and I have a lot of father and son conversations, but we also like to sit back and enjoy some really good music together. So you're not going to get an in-depth uh, discussion about a dad and a son. And there still will probably be in-depth discussion. They're probably on. <laughs> there probably will be. But this is going to be a little bit different for me, at least, sure. to where I don't have to be the dad figure in the song, right, yeah. and tell you how it relates to me. It's going to be more me just enjoying some music with my son. So, if that sounds like something you would like, please give this video a like. Give my son a subscribe to his channel. Um... His channel has grown so much in the last little while. We greatly appreciate everybody that watches and supports Daniel. Um, so, let's get to the song. Dan. Alrighty. Um, apologies. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Um, I'm not sure what to expect. So, let's see. Have you done a Marshall Tucker song? I don't think I've ever even heard of the group before, so no. The well, Marshall you're in Tucker for a band. treat. Can't You See, live from 1973 at the Grand Opera House. All right? So that's 22 million views, so that's always a good sign. Mm -hmm. Let us begin. Three, Three two, one. Marshall Tucker Band, Can't You See, live from the Grand Old Opera House, even though you already just said that. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm having a good time now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So that'll be the only time we pause it, I think. Um, so far, I love it, and I don't really want to stop it. So sorry for the technical difficulties. This was 1973. We've you noticed it too. Yes. Just making sure. But okay. <laughs> we've never seen this before, so we didn't know what to expect. But anyway, this is wonderful. Um, his guitar, the guitar playing is really, really captivating. And uh, yeah. his voice, he's really getting that message across that he is yeah, struggling with Yeah, there's a lot of emotion. Woman. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, All right, let's keep going. So three, two, one, Marshall Tucker Band, Can't You See? From my grand old opera house. So, like what, what were you saying like a jam track are you yeah. kidding me that yeah. was perfect you yeah. know that was a jam track because they like when it like as it repeated and then they added more and more complexity as it kept going that was really cool that was a really good song yeah. um i kind of made out a lot of the words that he was saying uh and the music certainly went along with what he was saying um so, wait, we'll go up for a second. So, it says that it's the Grand Old Opry House in Macon, Georgia. So, if you guys don't know, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. Macon is not that far away from us. Um, I grew up in New York City. I wasn't exposed to a lot of Southern rock. Sure. Um, so, Marshall Tucker Band, I've heard 
I've heard that name. That was wonderful, right? Um, I'm wondering, go ahead, tell me what some of the comments say on Marshall here. Tucker Band belongs in the Hall of Fame. Do you agree? I would agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> this music was the real deal, folks. Who's still listening in 2020? We, we are. are. All right. Um, Toy Cadwell was a Marine rifleman in Vietnam and was WIA receiving the Purple Heart and Bronze Star. Uh, so that's one of the things it says he also used no yeah, guitar he had, pick. He was using his thumb. No the whole wah wah time. pedal, no whammy bar, only his thumb. He is my personal choice for greatest guitar player. Um, okay. So that guitar, it was de- it definitely captivated me, right? I wanted him to play more. So <laughs> not knowing a lot about this band, I want to hear more of what they have to offer. That was live. I'm sure the music quality on a studio recording is going to be a little bit better. Sure. But the emotion conveyed is going to be better on a live version. Probably, yeah. So... I definitely enjoyed that. That guitar playing was really, really nice to me. Um, I wanted to hear more of it. Uh, yeah, wow. All right, let's want to look at the lyrics. Sure. Let me see if I can find <coughs> a better line of them. Although, for this song, it's more a feeling, you know? Like, the lyric, like, eh. the It's all conveying a feeling, right? Sure, but let's see what the information... What is he trying to tell us in the song? So he says he's going to take a freight train down at the station, Lord. I don't so, care where it So goes. wait, wait, wait. Going to take a freight train. He doesn't say, I'm going to take a freight train. He's like, I'm going to take a freight train down at the station, Lord. He's calling out. He's like, this yeah. is his last plea, right? He's he's saying, I, I can't do any more. I'm going to take a freight train down at the station. That's probably his last ditch effort. And he's crying out. out. Yep. So he's, like you said, it's the end of the line. He's trying to get away. And he mentions yep. a woman multiple times. So he was trying to like run away from her pretty much. Is what I don't care doing. where it goes. So he's getting on a train to nowhere. <laughs> going to climb a mountain, the highest mountain, jump off. Ain't nobody going to know. Yeah, no one's going <laughs> to just die. <laughs> what? Kill I, me now. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, can't you see, well, can't you see what that woman lord she's been doing to me? So now he's trying to justify, right? So he's calling out to the Lord. He's saying, don't you see what she's doing to me? My actions are justified based uh, on the situation she put me through. I wonder what that, what does that like imply though? What was he doing? Who knows? Like, yeah. that, that's yeah. one of the things about love, right? Oh. I'm going to find me a hole that's in the wall. I'm going to crawl inside and die. Because my lady now... A mean old woman never told me goodbye. So she left. She him. left him. That's what happened. Yeah. Okay. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So right. re- re- there's the chorus again. Um, I'm gonna buy a ticket now, as far as I can. Ain't never coming back. Ride me a southbound all the way to Georgia. That would be back where he probably was raised or something like he probably went out sure so he's going back back to a place that he came yeah now to the train it run out of track so we're here in georgia and there's lots of train tracks i'm sure it goes further down so you could probably went further yeah keep going to the ocean pretty much (laughs) in this case he's probably gone back home um and then just a repeat of the course probably till the end he says lord i can't so he starts crying out while the chorus people are continuing he's like she's such a crazy lady i can't stand it god i'm gonna take a freight train uh and then it just kind of repeats till it can keep going though is there more no that's the end okay cool can't you see i'm gonna take a freight train can't you see down at the station lord what that woman she's been doing to me so he's trying to justify himself um obviously he's hurt right now yeah uh so based on up here where she said he says uh that mean old woman lord never told me to goodbye so she left him and i'm guessing in this situation she probably left him for another man yeah um and that's what would make the most sense with those other things right so and a little bit further up gonna climb a mountain the highest mountain jump off ain't nobody gonna know so it's almost like he put all of himself in the relationship. In the relationship. And to, to the point where if she doesn't care about him, that's the only person. Sure. It doesn't even... Now, 
No one's gonna even care. I can go kill myself. <laughs> and based on this, and it's very loose based on it, he said, I'm gone back. Mm-hmm. Ain't never coming back. Ride me a southbound all the way to Georgia. Maybe that's where he finds comfort to help him overcome sure. the loss of his woman, right? Yep. Um, it's an awesome song. Uh, Marshall Tucker Band. Y'all hit it out of the park. I was really impressed with what I heard. Even live. One thing I would say that not necessarily is negative. I, I wish the quality, the sound quality was a little bit better. On the live? Uh, on, on what we just listened to. Yeah. Um, it, so... We're looking at Psalm Facts right now. So this charted number 75 in the United States. It's off their album, The Marshall Tucker Band. Yep, and it probably didn't even chart in uh, uh, Great Britain. So that certainly sounds like some southern rock. And if he was playing in Macon, Georgia, yeah. and he talked about going back to Georgia, this was probably, again, some of y'all don't like that I say it, but Americana-type <laughs> music, right? Um, okay, it's uh, it's almost not so Americana, from what I've heard so far, has sounded a little bit. Um, for some reason, it sounds a little bit different. This sounds more, even, even more, you know, towards Southern America, whereas. But to me, being in the South, that is America. Well, it's all I know it sounds yeah. weird, but right. anyway, let, anyway let, let's, let's digress, so, right? This became an anth- an anthem song for the Marshall Tucker Band, similar to Free Bird for Leonard Skinner. It was never a top 40 hit, but it was very popular on album-oriented radio. It continues to get a lot of airplay on classic rock stations, so the young, the I say a young man, he was a little older than I was, he was probably listening to the radio and they were playing the song. Sure, yeah. So we're almost 40 almost 50 years removed from this song coming out and it's still getting radio play and that's when its song is timeless <laughs> um so the opening is unusual it starts with picking a guitar and playing a flute um jerry eubanks is that yep. of the marshall tucker band playing the flute giving the song a very distinctive sound it's not a common instrument in the world of some southern rock that is very correct the flute drew me in very much so at the beginning so what I remember when I listened to it on um, on my phone, not like when he was guitar soloing, you heard a little bit of the flute, you heard a rhythm guitar, you heard a lead guitar, but I do believe in the studio, there was a piano going in the background. Too? And it just added to the ambiance of the song. Okay. Um, there was no Marshall Tucker in the Marshall Tucker band. They saw the name on a key ring where they used to rehearse and decided it would make a good name for a band. That's so hilarious. without reading that, I would think that there was, Tucker like, was the when singer. he was singing, I was about to say, way to go, Marshall Tucker. What a great voice, right? That's awesome. And hilarious. This song was named the number one greatest Southern rock song ever recorded by Ultimate Classic Rock, which she home Alabama as a runner up. Very high praise. Wow. Um, and it all, that site also said, next time you hear this song in public, take notice, and you'll make the strangest observation, especially if there's booze involved. There seemed to be something about this particular song that makes the majority, very ironically, close their eyes and sway their head from left to right while singing the song's famous Can't You See line. So, there's no booze involved in us making this video, but everything else is correct. So... Okay. I just couldn't help but to close my eyes and just really enjoy this great, wonderful (laughs) Southern rock music. Um, So, what other Southern rock songs do you think Daniel should react to? I'm actually planning on doing tonight um, uh, Allman Brothers. Something by the Allman Brothers. I'm going to look at some of their other... um, The other stuff from... What was it? What's the... The one I've already done one Sure, you did... Whipping post whipping where post. you thought it was yeah, I got a the different li- song, but you had it flopped. I, I had I had the lyrics to like what was the other song called Jessica or was the song I did called I don't remember. Yeah, I had the lyrics to a different song pulled up and yeah, but Google said this is the lyrics to Whipping Post. So whatever. So um, I yes. want to hear some great music. Maybe if I twist his arm enough, I'll get to react to another great classic rock song. 
a sure. good jam song with you. All right, sure, sure thing. So if you like this type of content, guys, this is Deathstroke Nine right here. He is the content creator for this channel. Um, he puts his heart and soul into making these videos. He really enjoys what he does. He really enjoys entertaining people, whether it's acting on a set, whether it's being behind a camera at home for you guys, whether it's just him creating things for me, my wife, and my daughters at home. Um, so please support his channel. Just give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. Thank um, you, guys. We appreciate you. Um, appreciate y'all. And thank you for introducing me to this song. Um, I'm probably going to listen to the studio version on my own time as well. And um, they have some other great songs that you really enjoy. Yeah. All right, you guys, let us let me know um, down in the comments. And what do you say? You want to do one more? Absolutely. All right, awesome. Uh, stay tuned for more with Dad and more in general. Thank you for joining us. Death peace Star and Nine. love. Out. Peace and love. Yes, peace and love.